the start of a carbon fiber table. Here's our carbon fiber we're using. It's just a really nice fabric. Um, some Wise Bond bar top and Wise Bond quick set seal. A couple of Wise Bond uh, mixing cups. And that's the start of it. Uh, Wise Bond's quick set seal, it is a 15 minute working time, 10 to 15 minutes working. Um, it's a one to one ratio. Make sure you grab your little Wise Bond cup and you mix it in. Uh, this is, I've already calculated, right around eight square feet. Um, to do the carbon fiber lay, I use a little over one ounce per square foot. So I'm gonna mix up about 10 ounces in this cup. Super simple, let's give it a whirl. I always try to mix B first, the hardener, because I like the cup being coated with B. Um, so we will, if we're doing 10, we're gonna go all the way up to the five. All right, so there's that one. And now some of this A, we're gonna go obviously we went up to the five, so we'll go up to the 10 on this one. You know, makes sense, a one-to-one -one ratio, right? All right, so we got that. Set that down there, get my squeegee. Real thin coat, you don't need much. Um, like I said, this is a quick set. You want it to kind of be a little on the thinner side. Uh, the thicker it is, the more chance of bubbles and whatnot you have. It's not the bar top, so you have to be a little more careful. What you do is take a little bit of this extra. Let me make sure all sides are coated. Because if the sides are not coated, the carbon fiber is not going to stick to it very well. Um, and we can't have that. We have to let the carbon fiber stick to everything. So, if I can squeegee some of this carbon fiber off, or some of the uh, epoxy off into this container, um, should be able to. It really doesn't need to be that thick. So, we already have the carbon fiber laid out. Let's see if I can pull it over gently and actually lay it on top like it's supposed to be. I'm actually gonna do it from this way and just lay it straight down over it. So, we kind of lay down over it. We're gonna attempt to get it to where it's actually going to reach the end of it. Pretty tacky. That's just how it works. Use the rest of that to squeegee the rest out. Make sure everything's laid down real nice and flat. If it's not, you can kind of rub it out like that and it'll flatten itself back out. Another good tip is go ahead and just hold everything up underneath of it. Get a little epoxy up underneath the edge so it'll hold itself under there. And see how we're working it underneath the edge like that? Do that and it'll help stick to it. Once all this finally hardens, which is only going to be in a couple of hours because it's a quick set. I'll be able to come out here and stuff it up just a little bit and I'll be able to throw some bar top on there. When I do that, the next day it'll be hard enough that we'll be able to cut off this extra, extra carbon fiber. Basically the key to this is you just keep working with it. Keep pushing it into the, into the wood underneath. Quick sets laid down. Everything's pushed in nice.
All right, so earlier we laid some carbon fiber fabric over some MDF board. That's what we got going on here. We, uh, we laid the carbon fiber down with some quick set seal because it works really good. It, um, it sets quickly and it gives us just enough working time to get this all nice and flat and straight and perfect. Um, right now we are going to go ahead and use some of this Wise Bond bar top. Um, we are going to mix it up as a one to one ratio. And we are going to pour this uh, three ounces per square foot. Let's give it a whirl. I'm just going to use a drill and mix it up. I'll mix it with a drill for about two or three minutes, and that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and use a 1 8 trowel on this. I want it to go ahead and be laid out real evenly. So I'm going to pour it on here and I'm going to mix it up a little bit and I'm going to get it close to the edge and then I'm going to let it flow right over the edge. It should work out real nicely. Let's go ahead and get this all smoothed out. We're going to do two or three coats on this just to make sure it's really nice and smooth. Alright, you can see all the bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and torch all that out. come back in just a couple of minutes and we'll torch out the rest of the bubbles all right well we got our very first flood coat on here it's dry enough it's been 24 hours we're going to take both this one and the green one back into the other shop and we're going to cut off all this extra on the bottom and then we're going to come back and do another flood coat all right so we're back in the other shop now um we have it flipped upside down and we have all this extra carbon fiber that's left over basically what i'm going to do is take this handy dandy cutoff wheel I have a straight cutoff wheel. You can also use a, uh, a, a right angle grinder with a cutoff wheel attachment on there. That would probably make your life a lot simpler. But just follow along as I'm doing it. Always make sure to wear your mask and your gloves. Alright, we got to cut down to just a little bit above, maybe a half inch left. 
We're gonna use my little grinder here and we have a 40 grit metal grinding pad on it. Should take pretty quick work of this. Once we're done with our angle grinder and our metal pad, it should look something like this. What we're going to do now is we're going to flip it over and we're going to sand a little bit of the top. Getting ready for our next flood coat. After a real light sanding for the next top coat, you can see quite a few of the imperfections. They're going to go away on the next flood coat though. I am going to go ahead and hand sand the sides because I don't want to burn through with the sander. Alright, ready for the flood coat. All right, now that we're on to round three of this, we're gonna go ahead and put on our second flood coat. This one should level it out quite a bit, and then right after that one, we're gonna sand it one more time and do one more final flood coat, and this thing will look perfect. So we're back. After another 24 hours, the second top coat is completely dry. I'm going to go ahead and disappear into the other shop with some 220 grit sandpaper and my sander. I'll be back. Alright, so we're back. We have this sand sanded down to a 220 grit. I got all the edges and the sides and the top all nice and uniform. I already have 24 ounces of Wise Bond Epoxy already mixed up. I have 24 ounces because so I'm doing 3 ounces per square foot. This was 8 square feet. Um, basically what we're going to do is for this last coat, it's going to be the same as all the other ones. We're going to go ahead and dump it in. Uh, we're going to spread it off with our 8 inch trowel. And then we're going to sit here for a while and pick out all the dust.
All right, I'm gonna grab my torch now, and we're gonna go ahead and torch these bubbles out. I'm gonna do it a few times just to absolutely make sure all of the bubbles are gone. 